Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of prime print solution. In this video, we will demonstrate the workflow to create temporary crowns. We will guide you through the InLab CAD software to the InLab CAM software. Our case concerns designing three temporary front teeth crowns in the upper jaw. To do this, we select the Crown option in the administration phase under the indication Restoration, then mark the positions in the odontogram. At this point, you can select between designing three separate or connected temporaries. By tapping one of the circular markings, the type of connector to be designed is selected. In our case, this is the anatomical connector. By tapping this connector once again, the intersection connector is selected. We tap a third time so that the connector is removed. Next, we determine our case details. To determine these at the same time for all three crowns, we tap the first crown and simultaneously press the Control and A keys, which marks all three tooth positions in yellow. We then go to Machine and select the Prime Print option. All other selections are performed automatically, and we could switch to the next phase, the scan phase. Since these are intraoral scan data, we proceed directly with the model phase. Inside the Edit Model step, we could edit the model data with the different tools, if desired. In our case, we proceed with the Set Model Axis step. The model axis is automatically suggested by the software. If necessary, modifications can be performed in the three views. The alignment is needed for the calculation of optimum initial proposals. This also applies to the next step, set jawline. We have adjusted the jawline accordingly and switched to the draw margin step. The trim model step in between is performed automatically by the software. To draw the preparation margin, we start with a double click and keep placing single clicks, finishing with a double click. Since this video is focused on the workflow, we skip the drawing process, and next you see the preparation margins already defined. At the left edge of the screen, you can navigate between the individual tooth positions. Lastly, we set the insertion axis in this phase. This is also automatically suggested by the software. Modifications can be performed with the arrow above the preparation. Alternatively, you can use the Apply View Direction option to set the insertion axis. For the other two tooth positions, we accept the suggestion insertion axis and go to the next phase, the design phase. If necessary, further adjustments can be made in the Restoration Parameter step. Parameters marked with a lock indicate manufacturer presets, which you can modify at your own risk. Now we move to the Adjust Morphology step. The Morphology tool lets you specify the shape of the front teeth. With the Change Tooth tool, you can modify the shape of individual teeth. We make no modifications and move on directly to the next step, positioning. Here, the software generated a positioning proposal which can be adjusted with the tool of the same name. You can choose between the two options, Move and Rotate, and Scale. Again, we accept the software generated proposal and initiate the calculation of the temporaries by tapping the next step, Edit Element. This step also offers a range of tools which we will not apply in our case. We enable the lower jaw and check the positioning in relation to the opposing bite. Last, we switch to the Finalize step. Before exporting the temporary crowns, we first use the analyzing tools to check the design for adherence to minimal and maximal wall thickness. At the top of the screen is a color scale which serves the purpose of allocation and assessment. 
Areas marked in green are considered ideal. They completely correspond to the material parameters. Areas marked in blue are too thin and susceptible to breakage. Areas marked with orange, red are too thick, and there is a possibility that the print material will not be properly light cured during the print process. This can cause liquid print resin to remain on the restoration and thus cause potential health hazards. The analyzing tools will inform you of certain risks early on so that they can already be corrected during the design. In this case, we will proceed with exporting the data. By tapping Export to InLab Cam, the restoration data will be transmitted. We confirm with Yes so that all restorations will be exported and a subsequent message confirms successful data transmission. After the InLab Cam software is opened, all cases previously transmitted are displayed. The restorations we just exported are already selected and we determine the material color under printer settings. Here we can either select the so-called fast track by tapping the double arrow or we can switch to the next phase, the arrange phase. Fast track will take you directly to the last phase, produce. In this case, the InLab CAM software automatically positions and orients the print objects on the build platform and also defines the support structure automatically. Detailed information about the InLab CAM software can be found in another video tutorial. We click on the double arrow and can finally modify the detail level in the window under Production Options and analyze the print object with the Analyzing Tools. To start printing, we tap the green area labeled Start Production. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Prime Print Solution.